Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 70 of MC Eternal, where I'm continuing to try to automate things. And it's... it's going. There you are. Alright, uh, let's... I'm, I'm, I, I created this quick sprinkler from AgriCraft. We can see that it's definitely... pardon the particle effects. Causing... with tick accelerating... A little bit okay. It's not it's not what I'd call amazing. Even with like 6x tick acceleration, right? <laughs> Man, I hope those particle effects look somewhat okay on stream. <laughs> um so it kinda works, but it's not amazing. Um I also threw uh some some fertilized dirt from random things underneath it just to see if that would help. Even with them together, it's not amazing. Like, I'm looking for, like, boom, 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 right? Like, super fast. I'm still not finding something. Which is a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, so, what I want to do today is make those Mystical Agriculture Growth Accelerator things. And then see if that works. Alright, so this should be easy, right? We're just going to kick off crafting 30 of these guys, give or take. Uh, he has to smelt up some stone, but that shouldn't be too big a deal. Let's go over here and see what this looks like, right? So I'm going to... Now, I remember my testing of this earlier. We found that, effectively, every time the growth accelerator does its thing, it grows the block above it by one growth level. And I want to say there's seven growth levels. So one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I should do something else for that block, right? So seven of those, and now we grab our growth accelerators, and that should be cool. And we'll see what happens. See what we see. So in theory, when those guys run, we should see that happen. Beautiful. That's cool. Man, I need to get something. I'm just gonna make a mod that's like, don't trample tilled earth. That's all it does. And it's just always active. It's no item you have to craft, it's nothing. It's just like, nope, we just removed that mechanic. <laughs> You're allowed to walk near farmland again. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? Like the watering thing won't hurt, I don't think. But it's just a whole bunch of particles and really not a huge amount of benefit, right? So I'm going to say nope to the sprinklers from AgroCraft. They technically look like they're helping a little bit, but not in a way that actually matters. Like not enough to be worth having running, right? Now you, sir, you are what I would call a smidgen of slowness. A smidgen of not fast enough. So I'm gonna see what other machines we can use to harvest these crops. Like, like this setup is cool, but it's just annoying to me that like every time I fly near here, I wind up with like junk in my inventory, right? With this thing running, every time I get near here, my magnet picks up all this stuff. And I just, no thank you. Ooh, now here's a thing, plant gatherer, nice. For some reason I thought those broke those crops, but maybe that's changed recently. For Just for the heck of it, I decided to try it, and it's not breaking the crop. That's what's up. All right, hang on, I'm gonna panic. But if we were to replace you, hello. Wow, you have a lot of things in you, don't you? Okay. Um, and we were to put the plant gatherer here. See? The thing? The thing that I hate? Erg. Frustrating. So are you gonna do the thing? Plant gatherer? You do seem to be doing it pretty quickly. Not super quickly, but... Quickly-ish. Hang on, maybe this is the problem there. Hang on, let's see if that's a little better now. Pretty quickly. I mean, it's not perfection, right? But I think it'll be fast enough for this one. 
So that's neat. And then we can get rid of that. And then we can make this thing do a pull, and that would be cool, right? Now, are you ultimate? You are, good. So you're gonna pull fast enough, right? Perfection, beautiful. And you're also making sludge, which like, in the past, this sludge would slow down the machine. That is no longer the case, okay? Okay, everybody who's about to comment that I need to deal with the sludge, that is true as of like 1.7.10. But in 1.12, no. No, no. No longer the case. All right, so you have a range add-on of plus three. We've got, let's do, I want the actual right size of it. And then uh, we have the energy upgrade one. Weren't there speed upgrades in this dude, or am I crazy? I thought I had made speed upgrades just to like make things faster. Speed upgrades from, what is it, Tesla Lib? Yeah, this one. So I'm gonna want like, for you, for you, and that should be four of you. And then two of you. There we go. Actually, yeah, look, we already had some somewhere. So what if I did that? Wait, that's energy upgrades. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Now we wanted speed upgrades, these guys. Yeah, my bad. So four of you. And then one, two of you. Then we do that and that. And that should be noticeably quicker now. How much RF a tick are you using? 90 at max. So I think we'll be okay, because that's assuming that it's constantly harvesting, I want to say. Like, we're not losing energy there, so I think we're okay. Perfect. All right, so then we'll do the same. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Uh, to you. See how much Inferium we're already getting? And we haven't even, like, done too much yet. All right, so you're going to be that, and then you're going to be the same range add-on. Gathering anything? Show working area? Perfect. Perfect. I like this. I like it a lot. And what I think I'll do is run uh, the ultimate doohickeys. Give me a bunch of those because I know I'm going to need them. Let's run that under the ground here and that should be cool. I like this. I'm feeling, finally, I'm feeling like we have a good solution that I like here. See, for the longest time I was like not loving some of the aspects of this design and now I finally found one where I'm like, yes, yes, this works. This is cool. Man, you're still all the junky cable? I'm gonna replace this real quick. All right, so I think our next step then would be to work on getting some of these actual plants working. So this guy, nope. Uh, and, and frankly, I don't know that the fertilized dirt is doing enough to warrant its existence, right? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking nah. I'm thinking nah, not necessary. Uh, so let's first start off with uh, planting this back down. And basically I'm going to move all my these dudes. Anything that's not, or anything that is a mystical agriculture seed will get moved into this area, right? Does that seem like a fairish plan? And that's what I think we'll do. Sweet. And then I need to also get this thing running properly. So let's get... Now, there's something-ish that I want to do. And it's, it's going to mean not actually running this into there, typically. Do I want to do this with you? Let 
So I'm thinking... Hmm. Let's do it just because I don't usually. The logistical sorter. I don't usually make one of these, do I? I don't think so. I don't typically... I don't typically make these guys. Um, so because I don't typically use this guy, I'm going to use this guy. And we're going to see how it works out. Does that sound cool? So I have to remember how this works, but I think basically it works like that. And you get to filter what's going to go in and out and where it's going to go. So what I want to do real quick, um, let's get some sandstone. Sounds like a good time. Okay, maybe not that good of a time. I just want a little bit of space within which to work. And I will probably exchange her the whole area up there with sandstone in a bit. This looks cool, right? Just so I have a little bit of working space. So what I'm thinking I want to do is process all the mystical agriculture stuff that we're getting down here before dumping it into our AE system, right? Like as it sits right now, right? Let's look at what we've got coming in here. We've got a lot of inferior essence and that's set to be voided as needed. And redstone, we're going to want to do the same, right? Like even though we have um, a ton of stuff, we're going to absolutely want some void upgrades ready to go so that we can, you know, do stuff with that. Um, rubber seeds, I'm assuming. Okay, so rubber seeds, we we have done the rubber essence thing. We're void upgrading that. That I should probably change, but we'll start with redstone and we'll go from there-ish. That sound fair? Um, and platinum will do the same thing. So basically what I want, let's process this stuff before we send it into the A system. That said, Inferium Essence doesn't need to be processed, right? It's like the one thing we're harvesting that doesn't, which is why we need the logistical sorter. So uh, what we're going to do is basically, um, I think what I'm going to do, hello, that was fast. There we go. Cool. Gonna fill in all this stuff. Perfect. And that needs to stay because water, right? But that's okay. And you're where? Are you kind of lined up with that? You are because you're the center. It's annoying. It's annoying. So what I think I'll do is probably just run this guy over here and have another interface because we have plenty of pretty sure we have plenty of how many white line one in use here into the p2p we've got three channels in use so we have plenty of channels to do this so here's what i'm going to do we are going to get an interface feels good Something like that. Maybe not right here, actually, now that I'm thinking it through a little bit better. Maybe maybe you come along here, buddy. So what I'm thinking I'll use is the RF Tools Crafter. Right? Like a, a Crafter Mark III might be cool. So let's get four machine frames. We're going to want just like a bunch of crafting tables. A bunch. We have wood. We do have wood. There. Now we just have them, right? And redstone torches. Do we have enough of those? We could use some more. Okay. So RF crafting table. Let's do... We'll start with four, and we'll make them all mark threes. Okay. And I'm just going to, like, set them up kind of like this. We're going to... We're going to have... Um, like that. And you are going to be the logistical sorter that decides how things behave-ish. So maybe here will be 
the interface that I asked for. Okay, you guys will extract out the back and feed into that interface. That sound cool? I like that plan. Okay, now you're gonna feed into the top, but then you're also going to feed in, and if I remember correctly, when I paint these dudes, which we do somehow, yeah, dark blue, green, aqua, and red. How's that sound? That sound cool? And then you're gonna get, what's like the last color, black? We could do that. Black will be for the, for the seeds, right? So we're gonna do a new filter. It's gonna be an item stack based filter. It's going to be the inferior essence. Right, so sends a single item instead of a whole stack each time, overrides min max. Now we want, we want single off. Round robin, no, we don't need that. Ejects items automatically to connected inventories. I think we want that on, right? Now I could specify the default color as being black so that if it doesn't know what to do, it would set it to black, but I don't know that I want to do that. We'll see, but for now we're gonna say inferior essence is black. Allow default off. Nice, size mode, okay. Sweet, hey, look at that. Beautiful, it's working. Nice, okay. So now let's set this up, right? So what I'm gonna do is, let's get our building gadget. So I think I can build to me on these guys, right? Yeah, you know what would be cool? Would be to clear out the whole under area here. Yeah, let's do that. So that I don't have to worry about this in the future. I'm gonna clear out this whole under area. So I'm basically gonna go left, one, two, three, right, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then deep, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, right? So left will be three, deep will be four, down will be one, right will be four, and it's one, two, three, four, One more up. Now that'll, of course. Like that. That's cool, right? Did that do what I wanted it to do? Basically, yeah. Sweet. Why did you not? Oh, do you have like a connected surfaces mode or something? There you go, nice. That works for me. And then this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay. And then right there is the first dude. Now, technically, we want one more of these. Yeah, because you're there. You shouldn't be there. We want to move that real quick. We want to move that whole thing back one. Thank you. Because we want to make sure we can go underneath all the dirt. So let me move this over here back. Okay, I call this cool looking, right? Uh, and maybe we should grab a quick uh, Feral Flare Lantern, maybe? Would that be cool? Just because I love me my Feral Flare Lanterns. Light up the area a little bit so you guys can see it. Oh, that's right, we're low on sand. One of these days I'll get sand fixed. Ugh, I should really do that. Anyway. Now we're good. All right, cool. So now let's set up, like I don't know how much Inferium I really need. 
Uh, but a few seems like a good idea at the very least, right? Um, I don't know that I need like 10 seeds going on here, but maybe. The thing is I want to be conservative with my growth accelerator. So even if I do that a lot, I want to be a little conservative with my growth accelerators. So let's do a line of Inferium seeds right here. We won't growth accelerate them yet, at least not yet. Caution, this plant will not grow with the current light level. Oh really? We should do something about that. I do like the, the warning note though. That was very polite. There you go, cool. Okay, that should be good, yes? Maybe I should do the corners too, just to be a safe guy. Is that good? Oh, and that's right. That's why I had the glowstones up there. Right. So we should do, what is that? One, two, and then the third block in all these corners. Yeah. Just to make sure we have sufficient lighting. Beautiful. I like it. All right, this farm's turning out pretty good. Okay, so now this spot is where I'm gonna want my rubber tree seed, or my rubber saplings, right? And they should grow nice and quick. Yes, once the tick accelerator thing kicks off. That's looking pretty good. Now what I wanna try, because I wanna see it grow all at once, and I suspect Did my glass finish making? No, because something weird with this recipe don't work right. Something weird with that recipe don't work right. And I gotta figure out what it is. I don't know if it changed or what, but like that recipe just doesn't work. That should be cool and give you guys a little bit of speed just to get those there we go now we're cooking so what my experiment is is let's see what happens if we place all these blocks all in one go my hope is that that means that all the tick accelerations will happen in one in like the same moment right so let's watch for this boom that's what i want to see see how it like instantly went so watch next iteration it should fully grow all at once. Because I think it's like when you place the block, it starts a timer, right? That's my suspicion. And I'm, that's looking like that's accurate, right? So when you place the block, it starts a timer. And then when that timer ends, it does plus one to the growth level. They're all running at the exact same tick now because I placed them all in the same tick with the building gadget. So by placing them all in the same tick, they all start the timer at the same tick, which means every time that tick runs, it fully grows the crop. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's what I was going for. Okay, now we're talking, right? So what I'm gonna do next is get my redstone seeds and get those prepped. Now, can I get more growth accelerators? Thank you. Okay, and these guys I'm gonna wind up placing here, here, and here. That's, my gonna, that's gonna be my growth accelerators. And remember not to forget to do that. Now they should all grow. They won't all grow in the same tick, but like they will fully grow in the same tick each one, right? So it'll go like boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Did you not fully grow? Aha, that's why. See, it didn't grow. For some reason it didn't didn't do the thing. Why didn't you place there? Oh, I was out of, um, I didn't actually have enough growth accelerators. That's why. See, it's, it's, it's working exactly like I suspected it would, which is cool, 
right? So I guess if we want this to actually behave itself now, what I should do is re replace them all with the building gadget. And then you should all instantly grow. Sweet. Now he doesn't know what to do with rubber or redstone, right? So let's make that a thing. Okay, so let's say that my first machine here, which is the, I guess that's dark blue, you're gonna accept, so rubber essence can only make rubber, right? So that's gonna be your, your recipe, right? So you're gonna be all external crafting buffer. We have to get you guys power, by the way. Uh, and that should be cool, right? So if I make you have rubber, so we'll do a new filter item stack rubber goes to dark blue, save, then you should get all the rubbers, sweet. So we're gonna do you and we're going to do a, uh, Goodness, I hope it's a mechanism. Delete universal cable, does that sound like a plan? Yeah, that works. There we go, nice. And then they're gonna be extracted and then rubber goes into the system, right? And then the same will be done for redstone. We're gonna say that this recipe is the redstone recipe. Apply, right, because that's the only thing redstone can do. Now, if it turns out that there's more that it can do, that would be fine, but we'll do it, right? So new filter item stack redstone will be blue. Whoops. New filter item stack redstone will be blue. Sweet, I like that thing. I rarely use that thing, the, the logistical sorter thing, but it's actually really powerful. Plus I, I've always been a fan of the old, um, you know, like, like, paint the colors mechanic that that red power used to have that's just cool to me right so i'm pretty excited about that all right i'm down with this i think this is neat uh so the only thing i want to do now is probably switch this to be a rubber dude so let's get do we have rubber in the drawers yet i don't think so right so let's get rubber in the drawers because now we've got rubber right so we're gonna do this we're gonna give it a drawer upgrade. I don't know, diamond sound cool? Sure. So drawer upgrade diamond. Drawer upgrade void. Make sure all the rubber goes in there. And then what I'm gonna do is move this guy. We don't need him there no more, right? Um, come with me, buddy. And these don't really belong here. And what I'm gonna do, just temporarily speaking, is uh, is 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 get this guy emptied. Why are you no extracting? Oh, that's why. <laughs> When did that happen? Did I break that? I thought you were extracting. Now we're cooking. Beautiful. All right, back in a few. All right, guys, so this is working out pretty good. We have a little bit of a backlog of uh, rubber to clear out, but I think we're gonna be fine here. Uh, so with that, I think it's wrapping up point for the episode. So Dial 20 signing off, hope you guys enjoyed it. We will come back next episode and uh, knock out a little bit more with this. But at least now we've got some pretty cool stuff going on, right? In my opinion. I think the redstone production that we're doing is gonna be pretty ridiculous. So as of the end of this episode, we're at 239 redstone, right? And we've got some redstone essence probably to process here because mostly we've been doing uh, the rubber essence, right? So this guy's actually done now. So I can, you know, void him or whatever. Like, this is how much I care about this drawer right now. I'm just going to avoid them.
It's easier than grabbing a rubber essence and removing the lock. <laughs> uh, so for now, like I said, that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Even in the few minutes that it took to process all that rubber, we got a lot of redstone. Look at that. Look at the redstone going up. Just, just look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful. And there's more to come. All right, guys. Take it easy.